Hi, I'm Fung, aka Leopard Crust, and today we're making a marble burnt bass cheesecake in a cooling oven. So this is perfect for after a pizza session when you want to use the residual heat from your Gosni dough or rock box. We'll start with lining our baking tin with some baking paper. This is a six inch tin. To adapt this for larger tin sizes or even a muffin tin when you're using the rock box, check out the recipe on gosni.com. In order to figure out where the center is, I always like to fold my baking paper into quarters. So it's really obvious to see whether it's centered in the tin. We just place it down and then we start to pleat the edges and just flatten down the base of the baking tin. I find doing those folds also helps give me a head start on the pleats. All right, I've got my mixing bowl in and whisk. If you have an electric mixer, feel free to use that, um, but we're going old school today. We've got cream cheese. Pop that right in there. You definitely want to use room temperature cream cheese because it makes it a lot easier to mix, especially when we're about to add in the sugar to cream it all together. Um, now we're going to add our sugar. So this is just fine caster sugar. You just want to cream it until it's nice and smooth. If it looks luscious, that's a great sign. Next up, we're going to add our eggs. You want to add them one by one, mix to incorporate, and then add the next one. Don't forget to scrape down the sides of your bowl. Then we're going to add in some salt. Before we add in our cream, we're actually going to separate out some of our batter into our cherry mixture here so that we can make it a marbled burnt bass cheesecake. We're going to pour out 150 grams of cheesecake batter into a separate bowl where I've roughly chopped some cherries. You can use any tart fruit for this. It's all good. We're just going to use our spatula to incorporate that. I'm gonna leave it a little bit gnarly so that we get some cool textures going on later. Now we're gonna add cream to our cheesecake mix. Now, we're gonna wanna use some elbow grease for this because we want our batter to have a little bit of air. We're not making a meringue, but a little bit of air. Don't hurt. Whew. What a workout. <laughs> yeah, definitely use an electric mixer if you have one. That's good to go. So, we're gonna start layering our batter in. I like to start with a bit of that classic cheesecake batter, and then we alternate pouring in some of our chunky cherry mix. It starts to look a little bit psychedelic. <laughs> like to mix it up to make the pattern really interesting. And then we finish with our cherry mix and it should look really cool. If you like, you can do a swirl at this stage. You probably won't see it later, but it's just for your personal satisfaction. This is something that's really easy to make ahead. You just leave that in the fridge uncovered until you're ready to use it after your pizza making session. Meanwhile, we're going to make some pizza. We're going to make our pizza caprese. So if you haven't already checked out that video, it's over here. <laughs> uh, and it's time to put it in the oven. But first, we got to turn our oven off. And then we're going to wait for it to reach about 420 degrees Celsius. I like to put uh, my cake tin in another tray because it makes it really easy to get in and out of the oven so you got something to hold on to. We're just waiting for that to get to 420. It's at 430 right now. I've got my protective mitt on. Oh, single ladies, oh, single ladies. Kidding. Uh, it's at 425, so I'm just going to start sliding this. And you want to put this towards the back of the oven. And then we've got our handy dandy oven door and I'm just going to put that in place and make sure it's shut nice and tight. So the oven is now at 420. So we timed it just right. 
quick safety tip about our brand new dome accessory. You definitely want to use it when there's no flame in the oven. If you're using firewood, you want to make sure that it's reduced down to an ember before you place the door on. Now we're just going to leave our cheesecake to do its thing, get its bake on. It will take about 50 minutes and then we're going to give it a check. And if it's the color you like, then it's done. If it's not yet, then we can give it some extra time. Okay, so time's up, which means it's time for cheesecake. Let's get it out of the oven and I'm gonna open the door. Thank you, door. And we're just gonna retrieve our cheesecake. Wow, look at that. Woo, oops. <laughs> it's still a little bit jiggly, which is what we want. We're just gonna let this cool very slightly, but I went ahead and made another best cheesecake yesterday because I just wanted to show you your options. So you can bake it a little bit less brown, more of a golden brown finish. And for that, you want to put it in when the oven's at 350 degrees instead of 420, which is what will get you this beautiful burnt finish. So you could go golden brown if you want it, 350, 420. Traditionally, a burnt best cheesecake is allowed to cool completely and then sets in the fridge which is what we did with this one. And then with this one, we're going to eat it in a few minutes, pretty fresh out of the oven, and you're gonna see how different the two are, and you can choose your own adventure. We're gonna start with the golden brown, fully set fast cheesecake. Look at that. We've got some swirls, some cherry chunks. That's what it's about. Mm. Yum. So before I started making pizzas, I used to um, just bake heaps of cakes all the time. So this brings me back to those days. <laughs> now that we've unwrapped this beautiful midnight colored fast cheesecake, let's have a look inside. Wow. Yeah, so you can see that this cheesecake, because we haven't let it set yet, is a lot more jiggly. Look at that cherry juice just oozing out there. Hot. Without letting it set, it has more of a custardy kind of finish to it, which, you know, I am, I am A-OK -okay with, so it's up to you. Let it set or eat it immediately. Either way, you have a marble burnt fast cheesecake. If you want to try this for yourself, check out the recipe on gosnew.com.